Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode in our Must Has video series. This series focuses on pop culture related collectibles that we believe have long term investment potential. About two weeks ago, we posted another must has video focusing on Copper Age comics, specifically the 1980s cartoon comics. So today's video, we're going to go one step further, and this is going to be solely on the G.I. Joe comic book series. The G.I. Joe Real American Hero series that started in 1982. Now this comic book series was based off the Hasbro toy line, and is actually one of Marvel's hottest selling and top selling series through so many years of the 1980s. So very popular comic book series, very popular toy line, very popular cartoon. This franchise is still going strong today. There's actually a movie planned. Um, there's a G.I. Joe movie and also a Snake Eyes spinoff movie. I think uh, John Cena is attached to play Duke. Well, it's rumored that he's going to play Duke. And I think Tom Holland is also rumored to be going to play uh, another character. They haven't really released who he may be playing, but Tom Holland and John Cena are attached to the G.I. Joe franchise. So curious to see how the films are going to push the brand and push this franchise forward. Like I said, this is one of the hottest brands and the most popular brands of all time. So these comic books are highly collectible. Some of them have shot up in price for the past year. So if you're going to get in on some of these, you want to get in now. So we're going to go ahead and start with our selection today. We have seven books in today's video. We usually only have five, but there are seven books here that we think are definitely must-haves for your G.I. Joe catalog, your G.I. Joe collection, if you're actually collecting the G.I. Joe series. And these, some of these books are just books that you should own in your long-term investment portfolio, regardless if you're collecting the G.I. Joe series at all. So let's go ahead and get started. We do have seven books, so let's take a look at the first one. So the first book is a no-brainer. This is issue number one of G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero. This came out in 1982, and we did highlight this in our Copper Age must has video about two weeks ago, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but there are a lot of important first appearances in this book. This is the first appearance of Cobra Commander, Baroness, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Hawk, Grunt, Breaker, Rock and Roll, General Flag, Stalker, Zap, and Short Fuse. This is also the first appearance of the G.I. Joe as a real American hero, the rebranded version of G.I. Joe. The G.I. Joe comic book line preceded this one, but the Hasbro, uh, the Hasbro toy line kind of forced Hasbro into rebranding the, uh, the G.I. Joe character into the G.I. Joe Real America Hero. So this is his first appearance in this particular series as well. So this one, a must have. This is also the first comic book ever to be advertised on television. So an important comic work, a lot of important first appearances. So we can't really start a series of must have G.I. Joe comics without starting with issue number one. This book will cost you about $1,000 to $1,200 in today's market. This is December 2020, so all the prices we give today are current as of today. If you're watching this video in the future, these prices will most likely be higher. So this book, about $1,000 to $1,200, issue number one, G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero. Our second book, jumping to the next year, 1983. This is issue number 11. This is the first appearance of Doc, the military medic. Destro, Gung Ho, Airborne, and Snowjob. Destro being the most important first appearance in this particular issue. Now this issue should cost you below $500. You should be able to get into this about three to $500 range. Like I said, that is the price as of December 2020. The price will most likely change. These books are exploding. Everybody's going after these Copper Age comics, especially the toy comics from the 1980s. And the G.I. Joe franchise is blowing up because of all the rumors with the the film, all the films going to be released here in 2021. Like I said before with John Cena and Tom Holland. So issue number 11, another must has for your GI Joe collection. Oh, now this next issue is a must have for Copper Age comics in general, not just for the GI Joe collectors. This is issue number 21. This came out in 1984. This is the first appearance of Storm Shadow. Everybody knows this book. This is a hot, hot book for Copper Age comics. Now this book is going to cost you about $2,000 to $2,500 in today's market, but it is exploding higher rather quickly. It also has a solo story uh, featuring Snake Eyes, and it's also a silent issue. There's no text in this. The story is told completely through the art. This book has always been a hot book for the G for G.I. Joe series, and it's always been a hot book for the Copper Age comic collectors. So this, was, this one here is going to be tough to find. This one here is a 9.8, like I said before in previous videos. Any modern 
copper and bronze age books you want to be a 9.8 or above i think there are a few in 9.9 of this particular title but you know now you're talking like ten thousand dollar range for that particular issue so if you want a solid copy for your investment portfolio or for your collection a 9.8 will serve you just fine there's not a whole lot of these out there anyway so a 9.8 will be just fine but this is a key for the copper age and a key for the gi joe collection ah, that's a great book okay the next issue is number 22 this is also a 1984 release this is the first appearance of duke and roadblock now this is blown up in the past few weeks with john cena being rumored to play duke in the upcoming film franchise so don't expect to get this one at an affordable price here coming up this was a under 500 dollars but you know it is exploding upward now that you we can expect this book to be around a thousand dollars here in the next few months but this here one here is another must-have for your gi joe collection and if the film franchise actually pushes the gi joe brand forward very strongly this is actually going to become one of the copper keys as well so keep your eye on this particular issue okay that's four so we have three left okay here we go this is number 24. This came out in 1984 as well. This is a cameo appearance of Zartan, first appearance of Firefly, and the first appearance of Wild Weasel. The first appearance of Zartan, oh, the cameo of Zartan, and the first appearance of Firefly, Firefly being the most important aspects of this particular issue. Once again, this book should cost you under $500 in today's market, but Firefly and Zartan, very important characters. These are fan favorites. These, this is a book to own if you are collecting the G.I. Joe series. Two left. Okay. Issue number 25, also in 1984. This is the full appearance of Zartan, uh, first appearance of Deep Six, first appearance of Mutt and Junkyard, and the first team appearance of the Dreadnoughts, Ripper, Torch, Buzzer, and Cutter. Now, what makes this issue important is the first appearance of Zartan, the first full appearance. This book here, once again, should cost you under $500 in today's market, but like all these books, it is moving upward so if you're going to get in get in earlier than rather than later another must have for your gi joe collection and now our last book for the gi joe must haves video this is issue number 32 this was released in 1985 this is the first appearance of blowtorch lady j and ripcord now all those are important first appearance of blowtorch lady j and ripcord are all important characters fan favorites you know these are characters that everyone loved from the cartoon series the toys everybody loved so this is an important part of the collection if you are collecting the series if you're not in collecting the gi joe series as a whole or the keys from the gi joe series you might be able to pass up on this one but you know a lot of these books you don't want to pass up too long if because if you go back later they are going to go up in value but this one here under 500 dollars in today's market now we did skip over issues number 26 and 27 which were the origin of snake eyes we haven't seen a lot of price action on those issues they seem there seem to be quite a few out there in high grade there's not a lot of price action there's not a lot of people asking about them it doesn't seem like there's that much activity so we skipped over those for now but issues 26 and 27 might be some to keep your eye on in the future if you are collecting the gi joe series they might be some to add to that series so those are our suggestions for the G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, comic book series. These are the books we think you should add to your long-term investment portfolio or to your G.I. Joe comic book collection. Please let us know what you think of our selection in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.